This time I won't show you the mucking work because otherwise the video would be way too long. You can download my plans if you like, but keep in mind that the plans provides the dimension as I need it. Um, you have to check and adapt the size to your needs. I'm using hard plywood for the springs. Um, you have to pay attention to the cutting direction. Um, you have to cut the long way of the springs with the grain to get more pressure to the doors. This time I like to tell you a bit about my joint tool. It's made out of beech wood and the making of is shown in my very first upload. I put a link to the video in the description box. At first you set up the desired width by clamping the piece into the tool. Then you have to set up the screw to the width of your saw blade. Therefore you may have to take a few test cuts until the screw is set up correctly. Um, the tool is now ready to use it with this saw blade. For other cuts you only have to clamp the desired width into your tool. If you are using different saw blades, you have to make the setup every time you change the blade or you build one tool for every blade. My reference line for this cut is the right line, so I set the right tool side exactly to my reference line. The cut has to go to the left side, so I have to place the short side of my tool towards the fence, which is the side with the screw. If I turn the tool later with the longer side towards the fence, um, the piece to cut will be pushed to the right. Let's make some test cuts so you guys can see how the screw affects to the fitting accuracy. And as you can see, it's okay for gluing together. To adjust the joint, you only have to turn the screw, but only a very tiny bit. And here you can see it doesn't matter what size your cut will be, it fits the same way you set up before.
if you get problems with bigger sized hammers, just make the inner side of the doors a bit bigger.